back in the bus again, getting ready to do some more work. Today I'm working on getting the seats removed. Now, in our first two buses, it was a pretty easy job where you could actually access the nuts that are on the bottom of the bolts holding the seats in from underneath the bus. That made it pretty easy to do with just a cordless impact and someone with a wrench on the bottom. We could actually do a bus in, we'll say, half an hour uh, without much effort if you have access to the underneath. On this bus, however, we've got undercarriage storage and it completely blocks the underside of the floor. So there's absolutely no way that we can get to the nuts on the bottom of these bolts. So instead of taking them out nicely, we're going to be cutting them out. And what I have is a Harbor Freight uh, four and a half inch grinder. Uh, this thing costs 15 or 20 dollars and it's definitely one of the tools that they sell that I do recommend. And we've got a stack of these grinding wheels and for the side that connects to the wall onto the chair rail, I've got my quarter inch Bosch uh, impact, I've got a six inch extension, half inch drive socket, and a half inch wrench, which makes real quick work of that job. So let's see real quick what we are looking at for cutting. So you see here, this is one of the feet, and there's two bolts right there. These bolts have a lip on top that has to be removed also to get the foot loose. Uh, you see the same thing up there. And real quick, here are the ones on the chair rail. We've got this guy here, and there's another one harder to see back in there that I have to come out too. All right, and so I'm going to get set up and we'll start grinding. All right, and make sure you have some sort of eye protection. I'm relying on my glasses, which is not the best idea in the world. But if you don't wear glasses, you should definitely wear something. And so the goal is the bolt head has a little uh, lip on it as well. And the goal is to get the bolt and that lip off and see how we do. Got a brand new cutting wheel or brand new grinding wheel rather. So here we go. All right, now it's important to see that you can clearly make out where the bolt is. I try to cut as little of the foot off as possible so that these could potentially be reused for other purposes. And I'll go ahead and cut the other two off camera and come right back. All right, I just got the other two ground off and give you a quick look at that. And once again, you can see the outlines of those bolts, uh, which means it's pretty much disconnected from the surrounding metal. 
So the next part is getting the bolts holding it onto the wall. So these seats are nice in that they flip up. Most seats will flip up, but not all of them do it so nicely. And what I'm using for this part, I've got my uh, Bosch quarter inch cordless impact and I've got uh, six inch three eighths extension and a half inch socket. Uh, these are part of a craftsman set that I've got and I've also got a half inch wrench to get the nut on the bottom and it makes pretty quick work of this job. Let's see if I can get this set up. We'll try right there. All right, and the cordless impact, if you don't have one of these, you really need to get one. This is one of the most important tools for this type of work. It's got enough oomph to be able to do just about anything on this side of a lug nut. And if you saw my other videos, I've got a different tool for lug nuts. And you can use this for driving screws, for driving bolts, you name it. So the nut on the bottom here, get the wrench on that. And that's that one. This one's a little tougher, you can't actually see it. Oh, that's that one. All right, and with those taken out, go ahead and fold this up, and the seat is now loose, just like that. So you can see where it used to mount, and it's totally free. And, and we've got one more seat out after that. So, like I said earlier, if you have access to the underneath of your bus and you can get to the nuts on the bottom of these bolts, that is so much quicker and so much easier than the way that I'm having to do it. And all you need is just to call a friend, give them the impact gun, and then climb underneath the bus with your wrench, and you'll get those things out super fast. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. And don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions or comments. Go ahead and leave them down below. Thanks.